Good morning, everybody. This is Nelka again. Um, while having my coffee, I would like to answer one of the questions of our friend in Facebook. Um, he's asking about how to light a staircase. So, for our friend, um, I would like to ask you again. Um, what kind of staircase? Is it for the grand staircase, for the residential staircase, for a hotel staircase, for a mall or a retail staircase, or for a fire exit staircase? So you need to understand first what kind of staircase that you want to light because different staircases uh, needs a different lighting effect. Uh, for example, if it's residential, then it's, it's like a Maybe it's a simple one, or if it's a hotel, then you need to have at least a very grand lighting effect in the staircase. Like, for example, what are you seeing right now? So, yeah, but if it's for the fire exit staircase or uh, for um, for anything that's for security, then uh, we need to calculate it according to the standard, which is it should be at least 100 lux. And um, UGR 25, uniformity is 0.4, and RA is 40. So, if it's uh, the one you're saying, that like the staircase for fire exit, then it should be at least 100 lux. Yes, that is the recommended for the treads, uh, for the staircase on the treads. It's at least 100 lux. But in our office, um, yeah, see, it's here in the fire. Uh, this is uh, NFPA. This is the fire for the fire code. Uh, they are asking for at least um, 10 uh, foot candles or at least 108 blocks. Um, but in our office, we dis uh, we design our staircase for at least 150 blocks. But because based on experience here in du Dubai specifically. Uh, the 100 lux is sometimes not enough, especially if the, for example, the stairs is dark or the wall on that fire exit is a dark color. So, yeah, we at least reach it into um, 150 lux. But how to do it? Because um, staircase has different elevations. So how are we going to design the staircase? How are we going to light the staircase? Okay, so I have one example here. So I open now my dialog uh, dialogue software and I already imported one drawing which has the staircase. So we're going to design the staircase using the lux level requirements which is 100 lux, but we're going to make it 150 lux. And uh, how to do this? First, uh, go to your, okay, I will just build the staircase first and then uh, we will light it accordingly okay, let's not make it so perfect First the important thing is the staircase all right so you uh, this staircase has a floor to slab height of uh, three meters so let's make it three meters let's keep the floor thickness as 0.20 and then go to the indoor contour again and um, let's uh, build the exterior wall now. Uh, interior, let's build the interior wall now. Okay, let's start it here. Uh, this uh, this staircase is very good because it has daylight. There's a window on this staircase, so it's really important to save energy on the staircase, either by providing a daylight or window or a sensor. For, on the luminaires. So now I have this staircase. Okay, so once we created the uh, room for the staircase, we need to go to this uh, assessment zone and then click this one and let's label that staircase. And then edit, let's edit it. The, uh, the default for Dialux Evo is offices, so we will go to this uh, edit option and select this traffic traffic zones inside buildings and then select the uh, stairs. And now it says 150 lux. See, um, yeah, Dialux Evo is also following the same thing. So, yeah, see it's 150 lux requirements. 
and uniformity is 0.4 is good, okay. And then the height on the floor, calculation floor is in 0, so it's good. <coughs> Wall zone 0 also. And then we will create our uh, stairs inside, but uh, the good thing is there is a e default object inside the Dalax Evo. So you just go to the object and then go to the select and go to the catalog and open the catalog and go to the addition pull down menu and then go for the stairs and ladders and select this one double running op opposed so just click the apply and now it's here and go to the plan view <coughs> and you will see the landing is here so we will make sure that the landing will be placed on that side so just drag and drop and then rotate and then move it there you go and then scale it okay and like that so if you check it it should be looking like this now we have staircase so um, we will make our room as a double height room or maybe triple height so, so so we will see the effect of these uh, lights inside the staircase because staircase is an open <coughs> open floor so let's go to the let's let's go to the store and building construction tab and let's make it as nine meters so uh, our staircase will be <coughs> triple height okay now we will create a landing in this side so go to the plan view and go to these room elements and say you can go for platform or beam or you can use object if you if you like so either of uh, the two so let's go and use the platform and say rectangular floor element and then click uh, okay we will edit it later and then scale that should be up to here and there and make the thickness as 0.2 then the, go to the side view or the section view and move it up right click and move and yes so let's go to the 3d and see it now it's good now the texture or the reflectance factor of the this uh, platform will be the same with the floor so let's double check click the material here here this is 20 percent and just drag and drop okay. it's the same good and now we will copy again these stairs the other side also the platform so go to the plan view go to the object tab <coughs> click go back to the story tab so it will be on the same story tab control c and control v and then go to the elevation and pull it up 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 okay you can check it here it's 3.2 if you don't like to drag uh, drag it <coughs> you can just type it and then this, you can we can we need to copy this one as well. Control C and Control V, and one more time for the stairs. Control C, Control V, go to the elevation, and then move it up. Six point four. All right. So now we have our staircase, and the stair objects is also here. Um, yeah, good. If you want to check the thread, you can go to the elevation also and check the tread height so go to this uh, tape measure and measure it and it says it's 0.15 you can you can adjust it if you if you have a different uh, tread height uh, riser height sorry not tread it's riser height okay <clears throat> so now we have and uh, let's light it up so now we have our staircase uh, staircase build up we will need to light it up so go to the manufacturer tab and select one of your favorite um, manufacturer providing a staircase light fittings for now let's go for as an example let's go to the thorn lighting and then go to the products and go to the indoor lighting and select one of their wall and ceiling decorative um, okay, we we can either put the luminaires on the ceiling or on the wall. So the fitting should be both applicable for walls and ceiling. So let's select LED. It's much better if the luminaire has the sensor built in, or it should be connect, or the staircase at least have a sensor. So you will also have the uh, 
as sustainable, sustainability feature or energy saving feature on your staircase. So let's select this LED and then let's go for something like a higher wattage maybe. So 36 watt, okay, this is wrong. Maybe 32, okay, let's go for this Nova line. And this is a little uh, little decorative for staircase, but uh, yeah, we can still, or okay, let's select them. Okay, let's just select this one because it's also applicable for staircase. See, this is a staircase. So let's select now the, um, the one with the emergency version or the microwave sensor or the combination of microwave and emergency or maybe a microwave and emergency and radio frequency uh, version also. Oh my god, this is uh, amazing because it has everything inside. Um, okay, so let's select uh, 3500 lumen output. So let's just click this one. Uh, yeah, I selected the 4000 Kelvin. So let's select, press the dialog and say open. And now it goes here to our uh, uh, ready luminaires. So we will now <clears throat> place it in uh, our uh, design. So either we will put it in the ceiling or we will put it in the wall. So first, uh, let's put it in the ceiling. And let's see what will be the effect of uh, luminaire in the ceiling. So let's select this one, go to the rectangular arrangement. And then, is it like that? So let's put at least two pieces of uh, this luminaire. So let's, let's save it now. Uh, see, this is automatically for walls, but uh, I want to place it in the ceiling. So you just have to make it like 90 degrees and double check. So it's wrong. It should be one uh, to 270. Okay. Yes, correct. And then let's make it two pieces, or maybe one piece is enough. Okay, let's try if one piece is enough because it's 3,500 lumen output. Okay, let's just create a new one on the other side. Okay, let's make it as 270. And then let's double check if it's correct. All right, it's correct. Now we will copy this one to all the floors. So let's copy it, Control C, Control V, and put it down, and then Control V again, and then put it down. Okay, this is the first one that is making three, so it's precise. Again, this one should be yeah, six. Okay, let's go to check it in the 3D, how it looks. Aha, uh -huh. so we need to adjust uh, these two. Let's, let's adjust these two. Select and then move. Okay. Alright. And then this one, this, let's remove this one now. <coughs> because it will be on the upper part. Um, okay, what we're going to uh, check is all the threads here on this... Um, areas where there is a uh, light okay can we just copy the same on the stairs and on the floor so let's go to the construction and take this one and then let's just copy so it will be the same color <laughs> very sophisticated i want the same color all right now it's here okay just remember that uh, it requires 150 lux and the calculation surface is on the floor but we will disregard it now because, because we are focusing on the treads and risers, not on the floor of the staircase. So let's run it now. All right. <clears throat> so it says here in the calculation that it's only 47.6 lux, which is not our <clears throat> requirements. We need 150 lux. So how are we going to defend that this luminaire is enough now for this staircase? We can only um, tell this to the client by using the pseudo color. So let's go and select the pseudo color, false color tab, and 
check it. You can adjust this one to maybe 10 and this one into 500. So now this um, green and dark uh, yellow green and cyan, what are those? What, what's the meaning of those colors? It says this, uh, let's say this is yellow green. It's 125 lux. And the cyan is playing into 79 to 50 lux. So this is not enough. If you can see here the staircase, this is too dark for staircase. So we need to have at least um, yellow green here in this threads. So it means that uh, this layout using one luminaire is not enough for a staircase. Okay, so let's just add it and see how it looks. So go to the plan view again, discard the result. So let's add now one more fitting to the side. So let's just select this one. Oops, go to the right tab first, select it, move it, and then Control C and Control V, and move it there. And uh, later you can just uh, check the distance to, to make it at center. So let's go and check in the elevations. Yes, correct. And also the 3D. Double check, double check. Okay. So let's see if this layout is enough. Then if it's not enough, then we will we will rearrange the luminaire into the wall mounting, not on the ceiling. So first, let's run it. Okay, it looks so yellow and it says it is 86 lux. And if you want to evaluate it, now I think this is fine. On the landing, it is 199 lux. And on the thread, it says, yeah, now it's it's running into one, 125 to 158. I think this is now fine. So it means uh, two luminaires on the landing having 3,500 lumen output, bulkhead, or surface mounted luminaire is enough for the staircase. So this is fine. So you cannot, you don't need to submit to the client saying that the lumen output here is 86. You need to show it to them the pseudo color, not the calculation report okay so if you want to go to the okay better if you for example uh, how, uh, how to do it go and go to the export and say save new view and then turn off the to the color and save new view again so you will have two thumbnails here one is to the color and one is rendering and then again create uh, new views showing maybe like this, like this angle, yeah, and then create new view, and then again, turn on the pseudo color and say save new view again. Uh, this is the report that you, you need to show to your client, not the, uh, the numbers or the lux value, okay? If you really insist or if you really want to show the lux value, then we need to create something. And that is what we call putting um, calculation surface on the stairs. And how to do that? So let's go and do it. So go to the plan view and go to the calculation objects and say rectangular calculation object and then create rectangular calculation object it should be surface okay yes it will be invalid and then you can create the properties here you say calculation surface yes positioning we can edit later parameters it should be in a perpendicular yes go for per perpendicular make sure it's perpendicular and then the quantity of the measuring grid, you can make it as, uh, click the distance and then make it as 0.5 by 0.5. Okay, and then, yeah, this is enough. All right, so now you have your one calculation surface and it's there. 
and go to the section uh, elevation view and then rotate it so right click and then rotate yes so I think um, positioning so this is 30 degrees can we make it 28 maybe no, 25 no, it's 28 so it's a 28 degree right click again and move it and then place it to your threads okay I think this is 27 27.5 okay this is 27.5 degrees okay and go and double check in the 3d okay because there's no light over here it will affect the calculation results so let's move it up down downward more so go to the left elevation and right click and move it down here okay now this, let's go and check so it's there so aside from that we will create another calculation surface on the landing so we can either do this kind of uh, we don't need to create a new calculation surface all you need to do is click the results on surface click this one and then click this one and then you say check the false color in the value chart and then properties let's leave it like that and iso lines okay this is fine and um, value chart setting quantity let's make it okay let's make it 10 by i think this 10 is enough okay let's click this one also and open the value chart and false color so it's a new one that's why it's not detected yet okay you can also do the same for the other threads for example here and then open the value in false color and make the setting as this is 10 by 6 and you can also do the same here if you like to add all of this but actually this is all typical so either one or one or uh, I think one landing only or two landings maybe and then one horizontal let's make it 10 and then open the value chart and false color so now you have your calculation surfaces ready and if you want to copy again this one to the other side you can do so so go to the plan view <coughs> click it Control c Control v and then move it to the other side and of course change the angle okay rotate can we make it negative 27 oh perfect okay you just put negative and then um, place it accordingly okay so now we have let's open the false color and value chart also now we have um, one two three four calculation surfaces ready so let's run it okay now it's finished so now we can see that in uh, one calculation surface wow it's 181 locks 183 staircase this one okay let's let's just close this one oh it's not one here and this one is 218 which is the one this one this one's 214 it seems that um, on the landing is overlaid but it's okay it's 200 lux is fine because it has sensor so it's fine um, it also saves energy but um, actually it's really good for staircase because safety and safety for staircase is really important so 200 lux is fine and on the uh, inclined or horizontal or the thread is 183 so it's also fine so either of uh, either of the two I think we achieved the lux level now this this cal uh, this design lighting design is uh, perfect enough so let's go and do the documentation actually you can save it like this also so go to the export make sure the results overview overview tab is open so you can capture the calculation surfaces yep and then save new view again on the other angle again maybe do like this okay maybe like this and then say save new view and also maybe like this save new view so you will have three thumbnails 
ready for the, the reporting. So go to your documentation <coughs> and show to your client the results of your lighting design for staircase. So you will have your project cover, the table of contents, the, the room summary, and the room summary will tell you that um, perpendicular is 86, but this is not uh, what we want to show to the client, but um, it should be the summary for these uh, calculation surfaces. So let's go and go to the edit tab and open the uh, click this result summary surfaces. So double check. And now you will have calculation surfaces. So one, two, three, four, five. So you will see that it's 181, 183, and this is 218, 214, and 212. Alright, so yeah, you will have your okay. Uh, this is now the results, so just make sure you tick it and then what else? If you want to add every part of the calculation surface, you can also do so. Yeah, you can also do that. Uh, maybe one or two is fine. Uh, let's say one inclined. <clears throat> okay, so one with one inclined and one on the landing is enough. And then uh, go and select the views and configure the views and make sure you add the views properly. So add, add, um, if you want to show it also, okay, add, 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 okay, add everything. And then back to the page, and you will now have your renderings for your staircase. So not only that uh, you, you tell to your client that the staircase has enough light, or you meet the standard uh, <clears throat> through uh, showing the calculation surface pseudo color or by the summary results on the numbers. So either of the two. So yeah, it's 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 only like this. It's easy to uh, to light the staircase. And if you want to have another option which is on the wall, you can also do that. So let's try it. So go to the story again and. Go to the, to the light tab, yes, and then draw line arrangement. And now you will have three pieces, let's say three pieces. So rotate this one, click, click, okay. But if you make it three pieces, <clears throat> um, it will be more compared to the, uh, the previous design. So let's just make it two as well. Okay, so go to the elevation now, move it down. Go to the other side of the elevation and let's see how it goes. So let's rotate it. Yeah. Previously we know that it's okay. Let's make it negative 27.5. Yes, there we go. And then maybe move it up a little. Here we go. And go to the Okay, I made it in wrong orientation, so it should be on the other side. Okay, we'll just copy it. Can we remove now this previous design so we will know the effect? Okay, let's copy this one to the other side. Control C, Control V, and move it, and then just rotate it. Or <clears throat> Control Z, just press this one. Yes. Okay, and then move. And then let's see how it looks. Very good. And then this one, let's change it to the other direction, which is uh, positive 27.5. That's just the negative sign. And then enter. And then right click and move down. Okay, let's make sure that it's uh, aligned with the other one. Let's go to the 3D. Okay, uh, <clears throat> this luminar looks so low, so let's move it up. You cannot make uh, dictate the height right now, or if you want, you can go to this uh, um, elevation again and 
create a reference line here and let's say this is 1.5 then one piece now this is the height it should be the height or let's make it 1.6 and then move just make it like that and another one 1.6 all right so yeah i think it's hmm, it's still low looks low so let's add it let's make it two meters okay and then let's move it also the other one all right and then let's move our <clears throat> reference line here and then copy can we copy it on the elevation control c control v no it's not possible go to the plan control c and control v and then go to the elevation again and <clears throat> Move it down. Now it should be matching on this one. All right. So let's go to the 3D view and see how it looks. Glamorous. I love it. Okay. So let's see if our new layout is good enough. So let's run it. Let's discard the result first. And then run the calculation. All right. So it looks the same. Since it's 181 lakhs, wow, very good. But 61 on the other side, well, it's different. Should be almost the same. And then this one is um, 145, 127, and 123. So on the landing, it's becoming less. Uh, uh, and on the tread and riser, it's more. But it's okay because the tread and the riser is the most dangerous part of the staircase. So it's okay to have a brighter part of that area, of that stairs. Okay, and then you can just, yeah, so create a new report regarding this. If you want, you can uh, tell to your client that you have one option uh, for your staircase lighting design. So one option is on the ceiling and this, the second option is on the wall mounting. So either of the two, whichever is more convenient and more appealing to the client or more easy installation uh, for the contractor, then you can uh, suggest these two options of lighting your staircase. So that's it and let's review. So staircase, they said 100 lakhs, but we're moving into 150 because it's, it needs more light because it's a very dangerous area, especially if in, in case of emergency. So yeah, so it depends of what staircase you want. If it's for decoration, then it's at least still need to have a, uh, enough light for, the, for people to go down and go up. And if it's for emergency like the fire exit, at least you have 150 lakhs. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. See you again later.